We need to go to the Adler Estate. That's what. I, that's the words I was looking for. So back on up. Oh, antiques and gifts. I get it. Everything becomes. Nothing here. Everything becomes an antiques eventually. Or trash. I mean, realistically, it, it, it's there's more likeliness of it becoming trash. Go to the cliffs. Whoosh. <laughs> Alex, why are you wearing that jacket? It's like 75 degrees. The sun's out, you know? I thought you said you were going to go swimming anyway. It's cold, that's why. The sun is kind of out, but when you're in the shade, it drops to like 50. No, it doesn't. Hey, Michael, we didn't bring drinks. Did we? I thought we said we'd bring drinks. Nope. Just don't say anything. We didn't bring drinks? You didn't bring drinks. Oh, poo. Today turned out to be a flawless day. It really did. Yeah, no, it did. It really did. I wanted to bring a kite, but thought you'd laugh at me. Uh, yeah, um, it really is kind of ideal, actually. Yeah, I'm like, right about to start sweating, but I'm not. No, it is perfect ice cream and tennis weather. That is rare. Interesting. Like, let's not be all trippy right now. This, this is some good backstory about Clarissa. I've wanted to hate Clarissa for a long time. Go to the beach. It's been a spell since we did something, right? I feel like I haven't talked to you in a while. How have you been? What's been going on? How's classes? How's... What's his face? Mr. Collins' English. Truthfully, I've, um... i Ah, sorry. I think... Yeah, I... <laughs> I accidentally left my phone on the ferry, because I do things like that. <laughs> oh, God, you idiot. Go get it before it leaves. When I get back, I want to hear an Alex story. <laughs> Okay, okay, I guess. I'm just so. Uh, <laughs> Do you? Well, I guess you don't remember anything, right? What am I meant to remember? I'm sorry. Did I forget something? I'm bad with. They. Our whole like island horror show, ghosts and possessions, and and none of this is jarring like anything loose. If this is about Ren's movie, I mean, I told him I didn't want to do it. Half the script was an underwear scene, so, you know, no thanks. <laughs> um, I'm glad we could all do stuff today. I'm glad you were cool with it, I mean. I know you guys are really close, and like, I know it can be annoying when somebody starts keeping all their time for their girlfriend or whatever. So, I think it would be cool if we could, like, continue to do things together. Yeah, I, um, totally understand. And yeah, let's uh, do stuff, you know. I'm trying cool, to be cool, cool with Clarissa. Michael, right uh, he loves you like a lot. I'm sure you know that, but he talks about you all the time. <laughs> oh, Alex did this, and Alex let the frogs out in science class. Isn't she hilarious? Thanks for uh, telling me. Yeah, of course. I had to fight the skipper for it, but he didn't reckon how many squats I could do. What's it up to? Six? Only on burrito days. On non-burrito days, it's like eight. So, apparently, you love me. Is that right? <laughs> well, if I don't, I don't know why I got you that skateboard for your birthday. That's a good question. You skate? Not yet. Yeah, and the no helmet part kind of sends a message, right? I'm not one for subtlety. <laughs> so, I actually really want a cold something, so I'm going to run into town and get, like, a soda. Anybody want anything? Um, no, nah, I'm good. Uh... Yeah, get me a drink too? Sure. I'll be back. 
This is just weird. Okay, this is I'm just here. weird. What's the story? I want the news. I want the Alex first edition. What's going on? I've missed you, man. I, I've just missed you a lot. That's all. Hey, come on. I've missed you too. And I know I've been hanging out with Princess, but it's a two-way thing. You can knock on my door. We live in the same house. We gotta bring back movie night and board game night, <laughs> all the nights. Yeah, sure. And look, I know this was supposed to be our day, but I completely forgot I promised Clarissa I'd do something with her, so thanks for chaperoning. I know it's not what you had in mind, so... But I owe you. Yeah, no problem. Just don't get all smoochy-smooch while I'm in the general vicinity. <laughs> because that would ever happen. It's important to me that you like Clarissa, Alex, so tell me the truth. What do you really think of her? Oh, God. Do what you want, man. Don't ask me for advice. <laughs> okay. I'm taking that as endorsement, just so you know. I mean, that's fair. You know, I never noticed. That's a good-looking jacket. I should ask for it back. I don't like my new one. Feels like I got shoes on my arms or something. <sighs> you know what, bucko? I need it more than you. Paco, you haven't called me that in years. Oh, there was a radio. Oh, I didn't see it in the corner. Oh, I just saw the radio thing in the corner. I was so caught up in watching the story. Oh. Alex, are you all right? Okay. Uh, uh, are you, are you back? Day. You've been acting super weird for like the last five minutes. Do, do, do you know that? I mean, I let it go for the first two, but then it got stranger. I, uh, I, I don't know. What was I doing? Um, you kind of slowed down, then stopped. Then you were just shuffling your feet like you forgot how to actually move. And then you were kind of just muttering to yourself about, like, sandwiches or something. Whole thing was a weird little show. Like, you were having a stroke or something. I... I was? Yes, yeah. you said it doesn't matter what's in it. Potato chips always improve a sandwich. It was like to yourself. Whatever. As long as you're back among the living, let's <laughs> just head to the gate, try the radio. Where are we? Okay. Cool. We're... Wait a minute. Did... Oh, no, I did that one. We're good. Okay. All right. So I take it everyone's meeting up here. <sighs> oh, good. You didn't die. Did you get it? Did it work? Do you hate me because it didn't work? It worked. It worked. We got the... Well, actually, turned out to be a radio, but I guess it can open doors and gates and stuff with different frequencies. Really? But we can open the gate? Yeah, we think. Ah, uh, good. How have you been? Any, uh, terror? My terror has been keeping it kind of a mild simmer, so, uh, it's a win. Better than it could have been, I guess. But if the radio's the thing... Wait, where's Clarissa? We can't leave yet without her. Have you seen her or heard from her? Yes, but she kinda then disappeared. Listen, if we have the key, which is apparently this radio, then let's just go to the house and see. And if it looks like we can leave that way, then we'll go on a Clarissa hunt. <sighs> Alright. I think you're supposed to use the radio to tune into the gate, right, Alex? Uh, sure. So are you going to try the gate thing, or...? I guess the radio will open this? Oh. Somehow? Hopefully. Give it a whirl. Alright, so we got an even bigger radio. Beep beeps. I imagine that's Morse code, and I don't know Morse code, so that's like something I'll never know. Uh. Creepy. Turn on the Lima India Golf Hotel. Uh. Tango. Light. For the ships coming home. Turn on the... Turn on the light. For the ships coming home. For the ship... 
Okay. How do we open the radio? The, the gate. There we go. There we go. Okay. Cool. Oh, wow. Neat. Yeah. <sighs> Everyone be cool with me. Please have a boat. Everyone be impressed. All right. Loading screen. Jesus, that house is huge. That lady really knew how to live. It's like the Chateau de Adler. <sighs> yeah. How did she get so rich if she was just like a communications person or whatever in the military? I think I said when we got here, her family like owned part of the island or something. I think she just inherited a lot, honestly. And she had a day job to keep herself busy. I, that's completely fair. I respect, wait a minute. Can we, oh no, we can go up there. But is there anything over here? <gasps> There's something in here. Just looks like vacation slides or something. She made a lot of, what should I call these slides? They're, they're not videos. Um, silent memories? Huh, Ren, you were right. There's like a ledger here. The Adler family does own the island. And here's a combination for a padlock to a chest is all it says. 29, 18, 54. A chest? Have you seen one yet? Let's just look. It'll probably just be more whatever, banking files or something, but maybe we'll get lucky. 29, 18, 54. I'm gonna forget that. Oh, this is gonna drive me up a wall. Oh, this is gonna drive me up a wall. Come on, there we go. Yeah, there's like a specific spot you have to do to go upwards. Oh, oh, it's like a, it's like a boat that needs keys. There are no oars. And before we go crazy, it's not. It wasn't with Maggie's stuff back at the office, like with the radio? No, we checked everything. Huh. We did well, not. Uh, What's plan B if we can't find it? Um, plan B... Well, let's say we find the keys. Does anyone even know how to drive this thing anyway? Yeah, you just pull the thing and steer the... the doohickey. Oh, I am very impressed. She has to have Rent? keys somewhere. Maybe they're inside. That's as good a guess as any. Sometimes when I lock myself out of my house, I'll just... I can't help but just stare at the deadbolt trying to, like, hypnotize it to open or something. You ever do that? Um, not really. But we can try that now if you think it'll help. No. All right. It's a radio lock. The woman sure did love her antiquated security. Oh, hold up. I mean, we're going to go all the way to the back. All the way to the bottom. And see if we can like open up the door but oh, i couldn't uh, it was all garbled all right come on dude that's some old timey music all right, uh, that doors open. Is a nifty gizmo. But here's her personal station of one forty point one or something like that. Oh, okay, fine. Enter the house. Carissa, oh, God, Jesus. you scared me. Thought you were like Maggie Adler's dead body or something. How would that make sense? I don't know. I'm in like a heightened state right now. Are you okay, Clarissa? I feel like I've aged 10 years, but 
For the time being, let's go with fine. You look sprightly as ever. Um, what is that supposed to mean? Look, Clarissa's here, so everyone's here now. We can just... everyone's okay, all right? That's a good yeah, thing. Yeah, let's just find the keys to the boat, or a phone, or whatever, and just find a way home. I promise, we can all keep talking and or fighting at school on Monday. Yes, perfect. Everybody uh, find something and hope that it helps. Cool. I mean, there's a lot of questions. Man, she owned enough books. It's mostly math, I think. Ergodic thermodynamics and religion. Sheesh, okay, there's a lot Okay, of... we get it. She liked the smell of paper. Fascinating insight. We'll all miss her dearly. No, just... How are you doing? How are you doing? Uh... Think Ren secretly hates me since I kind of put my faith in you over him in pressure cooker situations? No, he'll be alright, I can tell. He looks at you like a sister. That doesn't drain easily. Well, that's good. And I keep trying to set him up with Noah. No, no. Oh. oh, that's an attic? Thought it was like a cat's toy or something. Cool. What's up here? Uh, we gotta go downstairs. Ooh, you know what? This might be the um the chest that takes that combination. Yes. Please tell me she remembered it. Yes, I don't have to remember it. Oh, thank good. I've already forgot it. It's a lot of radios and those containers we saw at the town office. Oh, and like a map of the caverns. She's written here, tune into the source. We think that means she couldn't have known about the ghosts, right? Tune into the source. It, it's probably something about the special radios, you know? Huh. Is this, ah, the boat keys. Got them. Perfecto. Great. There's not much else to say to that other than great. All right, we got keys for the boat. Where? Jonas found them in a chest upstairs. So say thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. I was just saying it. It's not directed at you or anything. Okay. Ren, don't be an ass. Ah. Uh. I'm sorry. Alex. Oh, Alex. Come down here, please. We have something we want to show you. <laughs> oh, just come down, and we'll drink to our future. <laughs> come down, okay? It'll be all right, I promise. Ren, come on, we got a boat to catch, buddy. Oh. Uh, all right. Nona, come on, honey, it's time to motor. Oh, these all look very dead. They all look very, very, very dead. Jonas, don't, don't just sit there. We're in a time shift loop thing. Oh. Ah, there you are. Now we imagine you're a bit confused. Yes. But don't fret. This will be the final part of your training, Alex. All training is supervised by very skilled instructors. Thank you, Radio. You signed up for this, Alexandra. In the caverns, you tuned in to our signal. So please, I cannot bear your excuses, offspring. You walked in here with clear eyes. The test is easy. We will speak of something we see on the house, and you will go and find it. See? As simple and good humor as your mother's apple pie. Okay. Now, let's start with a softball. I spy, with my little eye, radiation. There is, of course, a time limit here. So, ten, nine, eight, oh God. seven, six, five, once they call it official, eye. four. Oh, I'm sorry, child. You weren't even close. No, no. What? Well, you look at that. The little ones up and hit the silk. If you'd paid attention, you'd have noticed the television set right by my side, the little X-ray emitting death machine. But right now, you'd be wise to think of radiation in another sense. Pay attention. I spy with my little eye a notch. Let's make this a little harder, okay? Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Uh, is it the, the this 
painting? It, it looks kind of like a knot. Excellent, excellent. You're doing so well. Okay. It's time for the bonus round, Alex, so stay quick. This is what you really want to find. I spy with my little eye a picture of a memory. Be fast now. The, the picture of, of... I guess it's Maggie, Adler, and somebody. Is this it? Yes, very nice. That's Margaret Adler and her friend Emma. See, you and your okay. schoolyard chums are experiencing... Well, this has sort of happened before. Maggie and Emma tried to sport with us many years ago, and, well, only one survived. But in the process, we discovered a way for us to return, so to speak. It just takes a little time. And a far-reaching tolerance for the ignorance. What is it? How, how can you... How can you come back from something like this? They're not an eternal recurrence. The waves. It's the waves, we think. And we will use those waves to absorb into your friends so that sunlight blooms into flowers. And we will grow. And we will engulf. Wait, what... What happens to them after you're... absorbed? Their form will exist with us inside. It will be a swap, you see, of essences, I guess you could call them. Hey, Ninja Dud. We tried it too quickly with Anna, but now we know to wait and soak. We had to keep you here on the island. It will be a great honor, Alex, really, to carry us through this life. Wow. And on to the next. Uh. When our vessel touched on the rocks, we had until dawn, and so will you. We would spend our time wisely, <laughs> and we thank you for your good service. Uh. So, I'm kind of screwed. All right, time loop. Woo! I didn't see the TV at first. I was looking for a microwave. All right. Let's tape recorder my way out of here. Tell Michael he should go to school here. Tell Michael to go to school here. Okay, seriously, who are you? Oh God, so many things to remember. This game is not playing. Whew. Is there something else I'm missing? Oh, I wonder if there's something upstairs. Because I didn't actually go upstairs. All right, upwards. No. Oh, there's a observation skills. Still not something I have. So we can go on. <laughs> I think I'm going to be sick. Me first. Uh, it wasn't a dream or a vision or something. You and Clarissa standing in the living room just now, was it? Ugh. I wish it was. Uh, no, but I wish it was a dream. Usually there's a lot more talking horses. And look, Alex, if you're ever getting asked to find someone's crap, less ghosts are gonna punish not you, ask to tag out or something, because God, that felt like my skin was getting pulled off. Normally, I'm sorry. she's good at this stuff. Normally. I'm sorry, all right? I, I tried my best. I mean, when things are jumping all around, it's tough to even know what she was talking about. So, I mean, Christ. If Clarissa was whisked away to the cave by nuclear submarine monsters, then... I mean, the plan has to be to retrieve her, right? I'm still going to call them ghosts, if that's okay. A ghost is a monster, so... Uh, does anyone buy the whole eternal recurrence thing? Literally? This is weird. No idea what you're talking about right now. Yeah, what's that again? Is that like, reincarnation? It's when... It's the idea that... If time is infinite and matter is finite, then everything will eventually repeat in the same exact pattern again and again. I subscribe to whatever snake handlers believe in, so... Uh. Yeah? Right? Clarissa is only like one slice of the problem. We're all 
infected or whatever, so we need to rip the issue off like a bandage all at once. Okay, great, yeah, but how do we do that? Well, uh, good question. Maggie, ah, I think Maggie Adler might have had some sort of a plan or a, a scheme or something to fix what's going on. What possible plan could Maggie Adler have? First of all, she's dead. And second of all, she was like the island Mother Goose. She didn't know anything about this. She left secret notes all over the place. The ghosts hate her. She was involved with it somehow. Come on. And she thought she needed to tune a radio into the, the source of the problem in the cave. Well, if we're going to the cave... Oh, actually, I forgot. I saw the entrance has been caved in since you guys went inside. All right. I know there are a whole bunch of secret communist bomb-fearing tunnels dug into this place during the 1950s. And yeah. Maggie has loads of film about military stuff in her basement, so... Maybe there's a way back into the cave through one of those, you're thinking? <sighs> Let's take a look. <sighs> I wish there was, like, just something here that explained what the crap she was up to. Maggie? Forget about it. It's a dead end. Yeah, like, just give us a clue. She knew about some of this stuff, at least. Uh, that's just actually let's check to make sure there's nothing upstairs still. No, oh, oh, yeah, okay, there's nothing up there. Cool, we're good. Does anyone? Sorry, but does anyone recognize who this is? I think her name's Anna. Nope, never heard of her. No. Uh, no, me neither. She was a a friend of Maggie, I think. I don't know. The the ghost just pointed her out. Hmm. All right, I'm so confused. This game is so confusing, and I'm enjoying it. Oh, it's like, hey, we got a bunch of lore. I'm kind of pissed that I, I, I feel like with what I've done so far, that Clarissa is just screwed. I get the feeling that Clarissa is just doomed. It's like the one like must be careful. That film's really flammable. Wouldn't want Smoke and Johnny to light the house on fire. Ha ha. All right, there's already something in here. Experiments and findings of experienced phenomena, January 52. Awesome. Oh man, if this turns out to be just prehistoric home videos. Yeah. I'm God, it's just the first thing. Just give it a second to warm up, will you? You can uh, skip this one, Alex. Yeah, hit the button to keep going. Okay, we're getting warmer, I think. So, if you look at the, like, lines or whatever, the bomb shelter should lead right into the cave, just like from another angle. According to this, at least. Oh, so it does. Brilliant! Is it? Yeah, how do we get in? It's just like the cave wall, only steel or whatever bomb shelters are made out of. I'm trying to remember what All happens right, well, in the end keep of the... well, keep going. Maybe there's something else. In the game, and I don't remember to save my life. Oh, what? She knew about these things? Yeah, wow, this game's been that's definitely crazy. confusing. It says that to fix a temporal tear, that's a mouthful, in the cave, we would need to transpose to the other side and tune into the source within itself. Okay, but we're not doing that, right? Good question. Yeah, that's that's going a little above, above and beyond. Well, how would she even know this? I don't care how much research she did, this would be out of anyone's realm of expertise. Well, something better work, or... Or we're boned. Or we're boned. Precisely. Oh, sorry, this is like... This looks like the end, but from the... From the wrong film thing. No, 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 wait. This is something I actually remember from that stupid radio tour thing, because it, like, sounded so weird. It's called the call and response system. It unlocks the bomb shelter. This is showing us how to do it. See? It says, when someone sends an emergency signal from the catbird station in the woods and the receiving station confirms it. It's like a connected response thing. Brilliant. Really? It's good enough for me. Alex and me will head through the woods, do the um call part. You and Ren can hang by the door to the bomb shelter and open it when it's ready. Wait, wait, I am, um, I'm sorry. I kind of zoned out there for a second. <laughs> what are we doing? Ren and Nona are team um, Soaring Eagle and you and I are awesome squad. Uh, I want that one. And we're splitting up to work on some old fangled machinery to open the bomb shelter, to get into the cave, to yada yada yada, save our lives or whatever. Use the response station to open the bomb shelter. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Right. Break. And if anything goes wrong, 
Please, don't tell me. I won't want to know. Now I'll be well, sure to tell now you. Now I'm going to run over there and specifically tell you at the first drop of bad news. No. <laughs> I, on the one hand, I'm like, me and Jonas have been on the same like frequency all night. Like, I have been with on Team Jonas all night. And right there, I was like, Team Ren, Team Ren, all day. That was such a, uh, like, and if something goes wrong, just don't tell me. I don't want to know. This can only end in disaster and therefore don't want it. So like, I completely respect where uh, Ren was right there. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed the content. If you did, please leave a like up. If you didn't, put a like down. If you wanna see more content, hit the subscribe button and the notification button so that way you can find out about any new content that comes out. I do try and keep a regular stream of content flowing for you all. If you would like to be involved in, in what I do on, on the show, you can always watch me live on Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday night at twitch.tv slash Thank you again for watching.